What's up everybody back again, another video out here at MSRH. Cloudy day, should kind of be overcasted. Uh, wind is actually going pretty hard today, about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Um, I know it's not probably super hard for some of y'all, but it's a lot for us, especially at this bumpy track. So hopefully it's blowing in the right direction, blowing us onto the track, not off of the track. Uh, but finally got her all finished up last night, uh, painted it, um, finally painted the last couple of days, um, installed a majority of the parts that we have. We're only missing a brake pressure sensor, which I think is on back order and a GPS unit. But as you can see, everything's pretty much kitted up. Full Olin's, um, still running the AIM lap timer, but you see the Alpha kit installed now. Uh, the World Superbike Electronics Package. So as you can see, uh, pretty kitted out with the information page, everything that you pretty much have. Um, super cool buttons. Replace the stock stuff, quick turn throttle. So it's a lot shorter throw than your normal throttle. Sorry if y'all can't hear me, we got cars on the track right now. Um, but yeah. Uh, still waiting on the graphics kit uh, from Dripping Wet, uh, my boy Chris. Um, he's got that coming out to me. Should be here uh, tomorrow, fully kitted up. But as you can see, carbon fiber wings still from the Alpha's bodywork, um, carbon fiber frame protectors, swing arm protector, full Olin's. Got the telemetry sensor so I can see what the suspension is doing in the front. Uh, frame sliders. Still waiting on the Alpha Quick Shifter. I think that's on back order as well too, but they're working on getting that out to us. Got the Proline Chicken Hawk Digital Warmers. 520 chain conversion kit. I'm running 1543, which seems crazy for a lot of normal size people, but when you're 280 plus, um, I think that's a pretty good gear and it should allow me to use at least first or fourth, probably tip in the fifth at this track. It's a shorter track, uh, but even at the longer tracks, it allowed me to get all the way up to the top of sixth gear. So once again, I'm running 1543, uh, full evolution titanium exhaust. Got the GB uh, racing case covers. Want to try to find another uh, tank grip for here, but they only sold these for stomp grip, so I'm trying to get another one. Another one down here so I can get a little bit more grip. Uh, my seat, I have raised 30 millimeters from stock just to give me more leg room. I got the Evo Technology rear sets. Um, I really do like those rear sets. They have a nice wide uh, foot peg for you to rest your feet on, and it's grippy all the way to the edge. Very minimal style uh, brake lever and as you can see up here I have a fan switch because there's no fan on the Alpha kit so I had to kind of put a fan switch on it's the best way I knew how to kind of mount one up there but it's ran to the back the battery off of a fuse I'm not an electrician so that's about as good as you're gonna get from me and uh, I have a thumb brake as well for the rear so thumb brake I had that on my uh, old BMW, had it on my old Cowie, I loved it. Um, if you are um, kind of on a hilly track and you're not really comfortable using the rear brake, um, the thumb brake is an excellent option. Um, you know, it allows you to not have to worry about moving your foot, especially tipping in the left-hand corners, and you can use the brake going over hill. And I mountain bike a lot, so this already is like my dropper post. So I'm used to working this thumb while I'm riding. So that's not really that big of a deal. Um, FKR forks, um, we see that we're set. And yeah, man, it's pretty much it. Gotta have the first real ride today. Um, try to maybe put down some times if the wind will die down a little bit and just kind of get the geometry and stuff all sorted out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, should have that shifting issue figured out. Once again, with this electronics package, with this electronics package, it's not BMW's electronics package, so I should have that figured out. So I'll report back to you guys later. Maybe I'll be able to mount on a GoPro and give you guys some onboard footage as well.